Conditions coupled with poor nutrition meant slaves were often stuck with infectious diseases. On January 22, 1792, the farm manager recorded, A great many children are very bad with the whooping cough at every quarter. Sometimes Washington's request went far beyond what most slave owners asked from their slaves. According to historian Robert Darnton, who wrote a book called George Washington's False Teeth, the most famous founding father bought teeth from his slaves and some evidence supports the idea. In 1784, the Mount Vernon Plantation book recorded the transaction where Washington's dentist, Dr. Jean Le Meilleur, purchased nine teeth from a slave. At the time, dentists bought teeth to transplant into patients' mouths. But in a move that will maybe surprise no one, the slave owner paid his slave only a third of the commonly accepted rate. In 1784, Washington wrote, I confess I have been staggered in my belief in the efficacy of transplantation. Several years later, he lost his last tooth and moved to full dentures. Washington's famous dentures also contained human teeth, possibly teeth he had also bought from his slaves for bargain basement rates. Enslaved people tried to flee from Mount Vernon, but only some were successful. During the American Revolution, when Washington was busy with the British, a group of 17 slaves crossed enemy lines to escape. The 14 men and three women successfully fled to a British warship docked in the Potomac River, offshore from Mount Vernon. Slaves who closely served the Washington family also attempted to escape. Washington's assistant, Christopher Shields, unsuccessfully tried to flee with his fiancée. Hercules, the family cook, escaped from the plantation, as did Martha Washington's maid, Ona Judge. Judge was 22 years old when she learned her owners planned to gift her to a stranger as a wedding present. She fled to New Hampshire, where she lived the rest of her life as a free woman. In 1792, Washington marveled at how well his slaves trained their dogs. He wrote to his manager, it is astonishing to see the command under which their dogs are. But he was also suspicious. Washington suspected the slaves were using the dogs to steal sheep at night, which they then sold on the black market to make extra money. Getting himself on the bad side of the ASPCA or any pet person, Washington ordered his manager to round up the dogs and kill them. If slaves were caught with unauthorized pets, they were punished on Washington's orders. It's worth mentioning Washington wasn't the only founding father who hanged dogs. Thomas Jefferson also hanged his slaves' dogs as a punishment. Have they never heard of John Wick? All right, Shalom. This is a hard one by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim, Layahawa, Ba'ashim, Ha'wishai, Ba'ashim, Ha'raka Kwadash, Ma'amaf. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, today, they're celebrating another, uh, you know, folly day, a day of folly. Um, in different ways it's also a, a heavy uh wiccan you know witch um time of season where they do their rituals and shit and festivals all right uh, this time in early spring you know prior to spring the late winter <clears throat> and today they're celebrating another one uh president's day now uh, a lot of people are maybe off work today um some banks may be closed uh, i think the stock market is closed and they're all doing this in honor of not only the birthday which we don't deal with birthdays um <clears throat> you know in that manner um uh, so they're celebrating the, the the honor. They're honoring the first president of this Bab of of the new Babylon, <laughs> the daughter of Babylon, man, America. So they're honoring George Washington. All right, and matter of fact, all right, let's read this, man, because they're honoring a wicked man. You know, an Edomite on top of that. It says, uh, since President's Day is a federal banking holiday. See, that's what it really is. It's a federal 
banking holiday, right? It has nothing to do with um, anything righteous. It's just a, a banking holiday to where they shut down certain aspects of the, of the banks for one day, giving uh, federal workers um, an extra day off so they can have three days off. Um, <clears throat> you know, the number three, dealing with masonry. And then honor, they're trying to honor, um, uh, what's his name, George Washington, which was the first president, was known as the first president of America. But he was a what? 33rd degree Mason, man, a devil worshiper. So here they go again. What? Let's go, get a scriptures. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is set in great dignity. See, the folly and the wickedness that they're into is that that's what they they honor. And the rich sit in low place. All right, the ones that are are rich in meekness and wisdom. That was the ones that were enslaved by people like. George Washington during the times they were honoring him. At, even at his death, he had, um, I think, a hundred something slaves. Uh, our people were enslaved by him. All right, so I have seen servants upon horses, and that's what he really is, is a servant to our people, but they, they were exalted, all right? They were the ones putting our people in slavery. And even to this day, they got statues of people like Andrew Jackson or George Washington riding upon the horses. And I think Andrew Jackson was responsible for the Trail of Tears with the native with Gad, the tribe of Gad, the Native Americans. <clears throat> and princes walking as servants upon horses. So we're the true princes. We're the ones that w that will be honored someday upon this earth. And our king, that's that's uh, which is the true president. The true king over uh, the not only the earth and the universe, but also over Israel under Yahweh. Right, his name is Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> That's the one that we should be honoring. All right, every day. All right, so um, it says since President's Day is a federal banking holiday. <clears throat> most brick and mortar branches of banks will be closed. However, TD Bank will be open on Monday. Online banking and ATM services will be available. NASDAQ and the new York Stock Exchange will not be trading on Monday. See, they're dealing with banking. All right, so now it says President's Day, officially Washington's birthday, which they made it that, they made it, uh, they made that his birthday. It's just weird, man. Just weird, man, you know? Um, officially, Washington's birthday at the federal government level is a holiday in, in the United States, Babylon, confusion, celebrated on the third Monday of February. All right? Of course, a lot of people don't mind an extra day off, but still, um, a lot of people... Um, Look at this like a, a holiday, like a holy day, <laughs> you know. And it's just another um, example of how. Uh, let's get this real quick. See Psalms ten and three, for the wicked boasters of his heart's desire. And that's all they've done. They boasted of their heart's desire, Esau, and their masonry, you know, Masonic agenda, calling themselves Angelicans, which was like Catholics, but they really was. Uh, 33rd degree masons even in their burial they had masonic burials which is also satanic uh what's his name albert pike he came out and said it in the morals of dogma that their their light that they serve is lucifer man the devil that's what they serve the spiritual demon satan <clears throat> on the left hand side <laughs> so this is who they're honoring um on this day for the wick, just like Columbus Day, just like all these wicked, uh, you know, folly days, man. And it, and this is another slap in Jake's face because it's in the midst of so-called Black History Month. And this man had slaves. So, 
For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous man, see, whom Yahweh abhorreth, man, see, the most high abhors that type of man, uh, uh, George Washington. But in this society today, Esau's world, they they bless the covetous and, and boast of, their, of his heart's desires. All right. Now, um, the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Yahweh. See, Esau hasn't been seeking after the Most High. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. All right? His ways are always grievous, man. Everything they've done in power, even the presidents of America, has been grievous, man. All right? To, to the children of Israel. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. So he thinks nobody can do anything to him. All right? So that's what they're honoring. This guy, George Washington, um, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. So, yeah, man. All right. So, um, all right, let's see what this says. It says, what's the point of President's Day? Later, the holiday grew to honor 16th President Abraham Lincoln. Born February 12th, 1809. It became a federal holiday after being signed into law by President Lyndon B. Johnson in 1968. President's Day is generally known now thought to honor all the chief executives who have occupied the White House, man. All of them, right? That's right, man. Psalms 12 and 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted, man. So every president and their administration that they had with them was all wicked, man. You can name any of them. And, and most of them, if not all of them, were Masons. All right? So this place is nothing but um, a, a domain full of talking heads. It's, it's the scripture right here. All right, this is Revelation 17 and, um, and 1. <clears throat> and there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will show unto, show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. So America, <clears throat> that ruled over many nations, all right? Um... But, had, but America was given what? A president, a, a, a puppet ruler. And he had two sides to it, which would be Democrats or Republicans. All right. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. They, they've all uh, given into the dollar and this whole um, Masonic demonocracy mindset that America was pushing, doing business with America. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with her fornication, became became wretched because of that. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. So America became the spearhead for uh, uh, NATO, <clears throat> the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is all those European banking countries coming together. All right, setting up a military alliance with America being the spirit, the leader. All right? Even to this day, the general of NATO is has to be a, a American president. And I think they started that with uh, Eisenhower. All right? So, um, where was that? Now, so he carried me away in the spirit and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, all right, red, representing uh, Esau. All right, meaning this was established by Esau. They're the ones that established this um, beast. All right. Now it says, full of names of blasphemy. Now, full of names of blasphemy, meaning different people that were blasphemous. All right. Meaning wicked, wicked generals and senators and mayors and presidents, you know. 
uh, <clears throat> having seven heads and ten horns. See, ruling over that, uh, ruling over that government was what seven heads and ten horns. Talking about uh, the EU. All right, the EU, which really um, through the Treaty of Rome, you know, those Roman nations, those European nations, banking countries, which really established NATO. All right, and America. All right, uh, and ultimately through their banking system. So, this is this is what they're honoring: the leaders that were established by wicked men upon this earth. The, the, you know the, the the lines of presidents. Um, <clears throat> so, he carried me away. Now, where was I? Um, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And that's whose job, the president's job, is to push those um, ideologies and philosophies of this, uh, this woman, which is America, which is really ran by what they call the shadow government. All right. And upon her forehead was written a name written mystery is mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth so that's America it's a mystery all right but uh, not to the the hopeful elect and the angel said unto me where do it sorry so like I'm going to verse 6 that's the point and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints man see this place is full of of the, our people being slaughtered Include, especially with the first president, uh, George Washington. All right, and the rest of the presidents that was um, uh, uh, taking part in allowing these things to happen, like Andrew Jackson. All right, um, and I saw, and I saw the woman, America, drunken with the blood of the saints, man. And the saints are the 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 uh, Israelites. And with the blood of the martyrs of Yahawashai. When I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. All right, Revelation 13, and I'll uh, start from 3 to get to the point. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Talking about the Roman Empire. All right, and now the, the Roman Empire is revised with, with America. And the Treaty of, the Treaty of Rome. Okay. And then you have um, America just, just set up just like the ancient Roman Empire, having senates, senators, Caesars, and you know, and the president is a modern, modern day uh, Caesar. So, and they worship the beast, saying, "Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with the beast?" See, and that's what uh, America was joined up with NATO. And who was able to make war? Now you're seeing all these nations saying they're stronger, and they're the ones that the Most High established to make war with the beast. Who can do it? Well, the Most High can. He said he's the one at war with this place. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things, and that's the president, all right? A mouth speaking great things, starting with Eisenhower, all right? It was a spokesperson for NATO. And blasphemy, see? That's why I say full of blasphemy, full of blasphemous rulers and leaders that were established by the European Union and NATO, all right, America. <clears throat> they, they're, they're puppets. And they're, easily, they're manipulated and controlled by their investors. All right? And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months, and that's like almost four years. So now, um, all right. So this is all spoken of in prophecy, man. That they were going to have these uh, these wicked this wicked government established, you know, and ruled over by a shadow government. All right, known as the seven heads and ten horns. Now, Daniel seven and um, eight, and I considered the horns. And behold, there came up among them another little horn. It's talking. This little horn is talking about America. All right, a smaller, a little government 
compared to the, the, the bigger ones. Before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And you had, what that's, I think it was Spain, France, and uh, it was Britain. All right. Uh, if, if I'm not mistaken with Britain. Um, anyway, it says, um, where was that? Before, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man. The eyes of man represents the agencies that they have established. All right. And that man is who? Esau. Ruling from Europe, having eyes all over America, even through their, their cameras, their media, you know, uh, their cell phones, setups. All right. The agencies that they have set up, CIA, FBI, Federal Reserve, of which they're celebrating this holiday today. And a mouth speaking great things. And it was given what? A president to, to, to be the spokesperson for this, um, this, sh this uh, what do you call it? Mirage government, you know, operating under de facto. I mean, all these countries came together to help establish this place. And through France and I think Spain, America really gained its uh, independency and ultimately from Britain, all right? The 13 colonies. And it, it was established with the, uh, Ameri the what's it called, the American uh, War of Independence, all right? So that's what this is talking about. But it was given a what? A mouth speaking great things. Right, man. So Nahum three and one, woe to the bloody city. So the Lord ain't it, it not doesn't love this place or its leaders. The Lord said, Woe to this bloody city, man. It is full of lies, see? Full of lies, man. Lies coming from what? Liars. You know, politicians, presidents. And the prey departeth not. All right. They still preying off our people, putting policies in place to keep their uh, prisons full and their pockets fat. The media, you know, so on and so on, man. The entertainment over here. The pharmaceutical country companies. Their agendas that they're doing now with the lockdowns and such. So they're still preying on our people, you know. Um, so now, the Lord said, woe to this bloody city, full of robbery, and uh, lies, yo. So it's full of liars. All right. So these people that call themselves Democrats, those Jakes that call themselves Democrats and Republicans, and you know, um, and they honor these presidents. <coughs> <coughs> you see people like Kanye, Kanye, wearing a Make America Great hat again. And now look at them. <coughs> All right. So. Jeremiah 17 and 5 Thus saith Yahweh Cursed be the man that trusteth in man Alright so everybody that trusted in Trump People that trusted in Clinton People that trusted in Obama People that trusted in Biden Look at him now People that trusted in Bush You can go all the way back to George Washington And make Cursed be the man that trusteth in man And make it flesh his arm and whose heart departed from Yahweh, right? So Yahweh has established us a king already. And even amongst our people, we're supposed to vote uh, someone from among our people to be over us. All right? Because you remember before they was all praying on Obama, sitting around him, praying around him in the prayer circle, calling him the Messiah and all that. <laughs> but check this out. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh. And whose hope is it, who ye, whose hope Yahweh is, man. All right, and we're hoping that what? All right, Ephesians two and eleven. Wherefore remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh, calling ourselves Democrats, Republicans, Baptists, Catholic, whatever, <coughs> the black community. Who are called uncircumcision, right? That's the uncircumcision, Jake's. By that which is called circumcision in the f flesh made by hands, <laughs> that at that time 
ye were without Yahweh Shai being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. So we got our own nation and our own king. All right. And strangers from the commonwealth, the covenants of promise, having no hope. See, but now Yahweh is our hope because of you and through Yahweh Shai. And without Yahweh in the world, see, without Yah without Yahweh Shai, we, we didn't have Yahweh. And Yahweh is not accepting us without Yahweh Shai. So he's our king. Let's get that real quick. But now in Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Yahweh Shai. So we're a nation, even though we're not all together in the same place. Even though we're scattered around the four corners of the earth, the, the children of Israel that's coming together in the spirit of truth under the banner of Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're a nation, spoken of Ezekiel 37, an exceeding great army. And the Lord said, what? Uh, the, the kingdom is, is within you. All right. We're the city that's going to be coming down from heaven, meaning brought together. Bring us together. Ephesians 2 and uh, 14, for he is our peace. All right. So we'll never have peace in this place, no matter what president they put in office, because they're not running everything. The ones who's running it, it's coming out lately is who the CIA, the Federal Reserve, and who runs them? Those Europeans over there in Europe, the, the globalists. Who was that? Those Edomites, all right, Idumians. <clears throat> For he is our peace, who have made bo both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. All right, so um, that's right, man. So. Psalms 2 and uh, 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? See, their hope is in the New World Order. Their hope is in the Democratic parties and the Republican parties and their plans that they got of war and of and the, some of them plans is to stop the wars that's coming, but they can't put they can't stop the prophecies. So why do the heathen rage bringing in the satanic government <clears throat> more masonic rulership sodomy all right <clears throat> and the kings of the earth set themselves see they set themselves up <clears throat> and the rulers take counsel together against yahweh and against his anointed see they set up that their whole system is against the most high and against his people all right it says what let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. So, that, you know, they don't want to ever see our nation come back into power or exist. Um, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Yahweh shall have them in derision, man. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. All right, in the, in the judgment that's coming. That's how the Lord going to speak to these people with wrath. But it says, yet, have I set my king over my holy hill Zion? So the Lord has established Zion, which is his government, who he's bringing together right now. But he also set a king over us, and that's Yahweh Shai. All right, and under him, the president will be King David. All right, which will be over, over the top tribe, which will be Judah. But who's over King David will be Yahweh Shai. All right, and uh, <clears throat> so. The Lord has what? Matter of fact, let's get that. Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto who? Israel. All right. Uh, that's the woman spoken of in Revelation chapter 12. That was being vexed and tormented and, and cried, travailing to, to be delivered. And a child was born to us, Yahweh Shai, our, de our deliverer, our hope, our peace. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. All right. So he was given to us from Yahweh. And the government, see, we're a government. And that's how we should operate. That's why we have order. That's why you have leaders. You know, you have delegates. Um, you have bishops. You have uh, deacons, meaning people that look over the camp. You have teachers. You have prophets. All right. Um, you have evangelists. You have uh, faith, you know, brother that just have faith, man. 
encouraging the Akim. <laughs> you have soldiers that uh, guard the camps, which everybody should guard themselves, but you know what I mean. You have pr uh, prayer warriors. So there's, there's, there's a government, and then the kingdom is going to be a physical government. All right? For, uh, for unto us a, a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, man. So he's the one carrying us. We're the government. All right? He said we're going to be what? Uh, poly, uh, what is it? Uh, then I'm going to get that in a minute. All right. It says officers of, of officers of righteousness. That's what we're going to be. Officers uphold what policies? Police officers, man. Of who? The president, the the real king, Yahusha. But the government is upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, meaning authority. All right, he's the everlasting authority, not. Uh, uh, Biden and all these other presidents that get taken out of power uh, and, and that cannot rule correctly and they're the rulers of the darkness of this world that's what it says there in the uh, Geneva Bible alright where it says uh, in the, I think it's Ephesians the rulers of the powers of this world it says the rulers of the governments of this world alright the government shall be upon his shoulders. So we have our own government, righteousness. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power. Uh, spoken of in John, Yahweh Shah is a power as well. As Yahweh is, all right, under Yahweh. The everlasting authority, the Prince of Peace. Same one, Melchizedek. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. But there, but what the Lord said, when you see Satan divided against Satan, you know that their, their, their kingdom has an end. So this place here, America has an end to it. But the righteousness is going to be for what? Eternity, forever. And, and, to, and to establish it, so like here, upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom. See, David going to be there as well. And Yahweh Shah is going to sit upon that throne, though. And upon his kingdom... To order it. So they're going to put us in order. And to establish it with judgment and with justice. So, that's, so that means this place is not ever going to be established with justice and judgment that these people are looking for until Yahweh Shah sits upon the throne. All right, and takes this kingdom back from the wicked. All right. And upon his and upon his kingdom to order it, and um, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth forevermore, the zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this, man. Whew. All right, all right, and this is this is speaking about Yahweh Shai's uh, rulership and what his throne is going to represent and his government. Psalms 45 and 6. Thy throne, O power, talking about Yahweh Shai, is forever and ever. The same one we were just reading about. The scepter of thy kingdom is a sep is a right is a right scepter. All right, let's get this real quick. Right? Because the Lord is gonna break the, the Lord's righteous rulership and his his glory and righteousness and judgment is gonna break their scepter, which is uh, wickedness. In America, that's what that's what these nations, these European nations, have been ruling the world with through America. Isaiah and their puppet rulers, like the uh, uh, presidents. Isaiah fourteen and five, Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Who's the rulers? All right. Um, so let's get that real quick. All right, and this is from the Geneva Bible. And it says what? This is Ephesians 6 and 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, all right, spiritual and physical, against powers, and against the worldly governors, the princes of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, which are 
in in the high places, man. So everything that's exalted in this place right now is 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 uh, ruling and pushing the darkness and the wickedness that's in place right now. But Yahweh Shai, our King, that the Lord set over His holy hill Zion, we're gonna be what? Just like Yahweh Shai, His scepter, the scepter of righteousness, is gonna destroy their scepter, their their rulership, which is not, nothing but a government of darkness. Even over the White House, they have what? Persephone. Persephone is, all right, um, Persephone. It says, why is the statue Persephone atop the White House? The figure of Persephone is a well-known today. Her story has gone as great emotional power. <laughs> so what is, all right, so what is on top of the Capitol Dome? A full-size plaster model statue. All right, so they, um, Basically, Persephone, all right? So now, what's Persephone? Let's look it up. All right, they call her the goddess of darkness, man. Is an idol. Demeter's daughter by Zeus. Wife of Hades and queen horror of the underworld, which is darkness, man. Her most important myth is that of her abduction, whatever, right? So now, you see, man, so it's shrouded in darkness. So the rulers of the darkness of this world and this they're, they're set up to rule in this time man so to honor them they're honoring nothing but wickedness and darkness but us when we rule under Yahweh Shai our ruler is going to rule in light and in, in righteousness that's his scepter all right so when we rule under Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and his scepter of righteousness we're going to be administers of that same righteousness and the law which is righteousness as well Isaiah 60 and um, 17. For brass, I will bring gold. And for iron, I will bring silver. This is talking about in the kingdom. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron. All right, and this, these, this is everything we're going to need because we're going to be gods, not just kings. We're going to be gods as well. Eternal, having powers. So we ain't going to need wood. We're going to have brass and gold and different type of uh, elements. You know, in righteous buildings. And I will also make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteousness, man. So we're going to be officers of peace, man. You know, keeping the peace, keeping the wickedness, keeping, we say, keeping the devil down in his hole. All right? And administering the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we're not here to, let's get this. So the Lord told us we're not to envy these um, these these false leaders, these presidents, and honoring them, man, and their wickedness and their darkness. Proverbs 3 and 31, Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is an abomination to Yahweh, but his secret is with the righteous. So we're the real presidents, we're the real leaders. All right. The curse of Yahweh is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just, man. So they they're cursed. This this kingdom is cursed. All right. Again, I'm going to read this Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus saith Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. All right, so you cursed if you trust in these presidents and these scientists and so on and so on. And these religious leaders that are not speaking in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're not speaking in prophecy in the spirit of truth. They're not speaking in the Lord's true name and in his laws. And make it flesh his arm and whose whose heart departed from Yahweh. All right, so these people, their mind is not with the Lord, so we shouldn't make them our leaders. Our leaders are people like the elders of GMS. That's, that's what the Lord has set up, his government. And the Akim of... Uh, uh, in, you know, within your uh, sincere uh, camps. All right. So, <clears throat> so the, what the Lord set up, He said this, First Peter five and uh, five. Likewise, ye younger. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's start from here. The elders which are among you, I exhort, who 
am also an elder, right? Once you get into this truth, you grow, you put away childish things, you grow in this truth, have some time in, at least past 15 or so years or 10 years, and you become an elder, you know, you become a leader. Where the newer brothers come in, they have to, I look at it like, <clears throat> if you get to the water first, the, the next people that walk up to that same lake, they should trust you to tell them what to drink and how to drink it, not just walk up and drink it themselves. They have, that's why the Lord set elders in place and leaders, all right? Or up and coming elders and such like that. <clears throat> so the elders which are among you, I exhort, whom am also an elder. This was, uh, I think it was Peter. And a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of Yahweh which is among you. So, all right, so feeding the sheep. Taking the oversight thereof. So you had to take that oversight over the camps. You know? It means an overseer, an officer. So order is important, man, within these camps, man. All right, knowing your place, uh, especially once you grow in the truth, knowing your place as well, taking the oversight over the younger brothers and helping them grow it um, in the spirit. Not by constraint, but willingly. Not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, meaning staying sharp in the scriptures so you can answer people's questions, being apt to teach, ready to answer. You know, studying to show yourself approved, a workman that shall not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Dividing the word means to what? To give the uh, the sheep the proper uh, provender. You know? So, separating the scriptures and breaking it down for the Akim. Taking the oversight. That's a government right there. That's a school. Because the, the ancient schools, even here in America, used to be based upon the Bible. Until the Rockefeller set up that, uh, and the robber barons, they, in the 1700s, they established the school system today that we, that the children uh, deal with. Which is a study of nothing. <laughs> after language and math and basic studies as in preschool and middle school, after that is nothing. Just study everything about nothing. Keep them busy. They can study, learn how to be slaves here and honor their president of the, of the corporation America, United States. So, but the Lord said this, you have your own government. We have, we're part of a government, all right? And we have a king that we, we are set to honor. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed, man. So when Yahweh shall bring his glorious, righteous government, we'll be partakers of that. Feed the flock of Yahweh. That's Zion, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. That's the real riches. Neither as being lords over Yahweh's heritage, but being examples for to the flock. All right. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of Yahweh that fadeth not away. And the Lord going to really set up his government then. When he arrives but right now we're a spiritual establishment you know spiritual order and and levels you know what I mean and it has to be recognized the Lord said what keep thy foot when you come into the house of the Lord so you have to go through the process you have to go through the proper channels talking to the younger Akim or the the oversight the overseers in the camp you know uh, neither as being lords over Yahweh's heritage, right? I read that. Likewise, ye younger, see? So now what I just read was the office of a bishop or a, deli uh, a deacon or an um, a elder. But now the younger, all right? Submit yourselves unto the elders. What's that? A government right there. Ye yea, all of you be subject to one another, right? Because because once somebody becomes an elder, they become a servant and a minister to the younger, to teach. That's our job, to teach and feed, you know? All right, so, but it, it, it can be filtered to a delegation as well, you know? So 
<clears throat> have many moving parts uh, or inner circles. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves to, unto the elders, unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, right? They let the water flow smoothly, you know, from one person's cup to the next cup. Likewise, ye, okay, so I read that. And be and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. All right, he'll help you grow in this truth. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time, establishing you to be a what? A judge. Judging the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Being the elders to the babes that are born in the in the kingdom. All right? So, that's what we want. We want to be a part of that government. Not, um... Uh, all right, not paying homage to these worldly leaders right now, man, that, that are ruling in darkness. And, you know, the scriptures say that the world is given into the hands of the wicked. If not, where and who is he? So these, these, these people that have been in office and ruling and the people behind them and their investors and these global leaders, you know, globalists <clears throat> and technocrats, and corporational leaders like Bill Gates and them, they all what demons, man, and, and uh, uh, wicked. This is uh, Matthew six and twenty-two. The light of the body is the eye, meaning your mind. And if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And a lot of these leaders, they're heathens, and a lot of them are um, the presidents. They, a lot of them are um, full of different uh, philosophies, like George Washington was. He called himself an a angelic and a Catholic, but at the same time, he was a Mason. You know, so they, they, they that's why the scripture said, as I read earlier, the Most High is not in all their thoughts at all. Nothing but darkness. And the Most High is what? Light. <clears throat> all right. So it says, what? But if thine eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. So this whole government, if the leader is evil, you know, um, let me get that too. All right. Um, it's full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness, man? There you go. Proverbs 29 and 12. If a ruler, see these rulers are, dar are in darkness and wickedness and lies. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. So this whole government and these politicians are all wicked, man. All right? So it's a government built and founded upon darkness and wickedness and masonry and murder and bloodshed. It says, at the time of George Washington's death, that's what they're honoring, besides Abraham Lincoln as well, the Mount Vernon and... The Mount Vernon enslaved population consisted of 317 people. Of the 317 people living in Mount Vernon in 1799, at a little less than half, 123 people were owned by George Washington himself. Another 153 enslaved people were owned by the Custis Estate, man. So he had slaves even at his death, man. All right, so this, these are the type of people they're honoring. So it says what? Ecclesiasticus 4 and 24. For by speech, wisdom shall be known and learning by the word of the tongue. But the scriptures say also that his words are sweet and smooth and butter and oil. But war is in his heart, man. And look at look at Biden's speech today. He's, he's displaying wisdom. <laughs> He's up there talking like Fred Flintstone. Yabba, yabba, dabba, dabba, do. All right. Um, more like Scooby Doo. All right. Um, <clears throat> For by speech, wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. All right. So, in no wise speak against the truth. And that's all they do in this society is speak against the truth. They even give laws to us uh, for sodomy. You know? So, they speak against the truth. They even banished the Bible from schools. 
and they they put up in their movies uh, images of Esau as God. But be abashed of the error of thine way and ignorance. And this place is prideful, so it's not going to be abashed. And two-thirds are going to follow in that same prideful spirit and be destroyed. Be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river, man. So don't force the Lord to destroy you. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man. So don't, we don't make ourselves followers of these foolish uh, presidents. You know, when Obama was in office, he told everybody to go get the uh, swine flu. I was like, nope. You know, those of you in the truth, you, you didn't at that time either. And then now, with this recent one, and, you know, what, what were they pushing? <clears throat> All right, those in the spirit and the truth and faith and the understanding, you know, just said, la'ah. So make that make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, to Biden, Trump, it don't matter who they put in office. Neither accept the person of the mighty. So it don't matter who they are. Don't be uh, uh, shell shocked or what they call that, starstruck by these people, man. Like like uh, Kanye West was when he met Trump and Lil Wayne and all them and Steve Harvey. Yeah, Trump was a great man when I met him. Man. See that starstruck. All these people talk ill about Biden, but soon they meet him, like, hey, Mr. President. He's an actor, man. So, all right. So strive for the truth until death, unto death, and Yahweh shall fight for thee. And that's what we're praying for, that the Lord will fight for us, man. All right. Because when they go and they vote by the end of this year, they're going to vote for a heathen or even a Jake that's in a heathenistic state of mind. A Gentile state of mind, and they they're gonna want that leader to fight for them. Instead, they the leader of this country is gonna send the Americans' children to fight for the country <laughs> and get slaughtered. This is Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Thou shalt in any wise, and this was the laws, the second time the laws were given to us, Deuteronomy from Moses and to our people. It's part of our laws and our custom to, to not vote any heathens over us, man. And it says, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. See, Yahweh Shai is our brother. He's the one that Yahweh set over us. That's our president. That's our leader. That's our king. And that's what we honor. You know? So forget forget President's Day. It's about the day of the Lord. <laughs> that's what we focused on. The day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because, um, you know, the, the presidents here, whoever's in office, this is the prophecy about them. Their kingdom has an end. You know, even their honor, which is really um, a disgrace and wretchedness. Isaiah 14 and 4. You know, um, no, let's go to 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that Yahweh, see the day of Yahweh, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, man. So we're going to have rest from being uh, in bondage in this place. You know, on the wicked government. And from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. See, we were, the Most High put us in slavery because we were being wicked. And now we're going to be taken out of this and we're going to be put back with our king, Yahweh Shai. All right? And the government is going to be reestablished upon this earth. And there should be no end to it. <clears throat> and from, and that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. See, we're taking up that proverb uh, against the presidents and the, the rulers of this this shadow and wicked government, starting with America. How have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased, man. Why? Because it's come to its end. Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. 
All right. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. How is the hammer of the earth broken, man? He that ruled the nations in anger, the Esau, is persecuted and none hindereth. America. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. All right, this is in the kingdom. Going into the kingdom, man, after this place is destroyed. So, yeah, man, it's this president's day. Let me get this. You know, ruled by these um, Idumians. It says, Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. See, that day, not President's Day. Who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof, right? That was our day when we were fallen in 70 AD. Also in 586, Esau was there saying, burn, take him down. You know, because they wanted to be risen up. And then in 70 AD, they were right there to destroy us to the ground. That's what raise it means. Well, we're praying to the Lord to remember them. We're not praying for this nation. We're praying for the Lord to destroy this place according to his will so we can be delivered and reestablish and establish Yahweh's government upon this earth. As, as <clears throat> upon earth as in, as is in heaven because Yahweh is already established in the heavens but he still didn't take his throne yet his footstool upon earth. O daughter of Babylon, that's America, who art to be destroyed, man. Happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. So we'll be happy in that day. All right? Not on President's Day, not Christmas, not none of these days. Not Black History Month. We'll be happy when it's the pursuit of happiness is when we get the kingdom of Yahweh Shimei was shy upon this earth. The king that Yahweh set upon his holy hill Zion.